G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so we're back and I'm going to answer a question, but I'm not going to um, say what the um, subscriber's name that asked it. Um, but the question was, um, are people scared of the Asians because aren't they, like the question basically said, because of their size in stature, most Asians are smaller than, you know, um, he said like, why are people scared of them? <clears throat> now, I I'm going to give you two examples of why you should be scared of the Asians. And you know what? They both happened in the exact same unit. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to fix this camera. Yeah, and they both happened in the exact same unit. And, um, yeah, so um, <clears throat> the, the unit was Scarb South. I'm not going to say names or anything like that, but basically – so I was in Scarb South and at the time, um, well, if you don't know, like Scarborough South and Scarborough North are like the most predominantly, you know, top three worst units in the Victorian jail system and the other one's probably Dalasma at Barwon. But um, anyway, at this time, there was a pretty, pretty good stronghold of Asians um, in there. I'm just going to turn my phone off. Jeez, I was really prepared for this video, wasn't I? Um, and um, there was a really, really, there was probably about 12 Asians in there. And the leader of the Asians at the time was like crazy. You didn't want to mess with this person, you know? And so basically, um, you know, um, the Asians had got wind that somebody that ripped them off on the outside, like so somebody that like, done a, a robbery on them, like pulled a knife or a gun on them and said, give me all your heroin, rah, rah, rah. And so they were waiting for that guy to come in. And if you're wondering how did they figure out that that guy was coming in, well, every single unit gets a induction billet and that person at the, in the morning, every morning gets a list of who's coming in and out of that unit. And so believe me, you know. And um, so anyway, they were, they were waiting for this guy and this guy – this guy turned up and like just out of the worst luck ever, they put this guy in the three out cell, which is a cell, what everyone calls a boxing ring. And um, so anyway, this guy didn't even really get a chance to put his bags down. So all the Asians were just sitting up on the top tier waiting. <clears throat> this guy went up on the top tier and, the, and he went into the three out and then bang, you know, like single file, they all just one by one, all the Asians piled in there. And then, <clears throat> what went on in that cell, you know, only God knows, but I can tell you what the screws told us that happened after it. Like, so the, that, that I can tell you that guy was screaming and screaming and then the screaming would stop and then the screaming would start again and then the screaming would stop and then the screaming would start again. And I swear this went on for about 10 or 12 minutes. Now, if you're getting tacked by like, over five people like your life is on the line right there and this guy got stabbed and everything and so it's alleged that they also kept knocking him out pouring the kettle on him boiling the kettle again knocking him out boiling the kettle pouring it on him and just evil shit do you know what i mean and you know what the funniest thing is so like the screws 100% knew that this shit is going on. They were like pretending that they could not hear the screams of this guy that ripped these guys off. And so, you know, they went in there and every single one of them was armed to the teeth. And um, so, you know, um, it, it, that's one example of why you don't want to mess with the Asians. Like they might be small in stature, but they ain't coming at you one on one. And that's a fact. If you mess with one, you're messing with all of them. And that's, that's just that. Another time. So there was another, another race, I will say that had um, actually ripped off the Asians while he was in jail and, and thought because at the time there was only a small number of Asians that he was going to get away with it, but the Asians just kept slowly going over to Scarb North. And then, yeah, next thing you know, that they're, 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 they're wrecking this guy in the yard. The guy managed to get back into, his, into the unit and got into the cell. And because at Port Phillip, you can lock the doors from the inside. So if you want to go and have a lay down in your cell, you can lock your door and no one can get in from the outside except for screws with keys, obviously. And um, 
So they literally smashed the window. They went and sticky taped shivs to broomsticks and were stabbing this guy through the window with shivs on broomsticks. They were throwing big rocks at him, shit bombs, piss bombs. And, you know, like they absolutely 100% mean business and, and you do not want to mess with the Asians. And I say that with the utmost respect to the Asians. Um, you know, I actually... I actually get along really well with one of the leaders of, of the Asians and, you know, after what happened with me, um, you know, um, when I went in the cell by myself with um, the Lebos and, and got muffed up, got stabbed, you know what I mean? But I went in there by myself when there was about 10 of them in there and that earned a lot of respect off a lot of people because I'd done that, you know. But anyway, you know, th- these these people are crazy and you don't want to mess with them. Like, so they... They, they all, 100%, like you, they are all participating in the event. So you ain't getting away with not getting stabbed and that's just a fact. Um, yeah, and I think that, um, I think that that's turned down. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, just with those two examples there, that's an exact, you know, that's a perfect example of why you don't want to mess with the Asians, but it's also a perfect example of why the fuck you do not want to go to prison because, you know, it's very hard to, you know, like I always say I'm not going to get involved in the politics and I always ended up getting involved in the politics. It's just, you know, sometimes you've just got to do what you got to do to survive, you know, and um, before you know it, you're mixed up with shit that you didn't want to be mixed up with in and, you know, you, your life is like legitimately on the line at these points, you know, and this is why you don't want to go to prison. This is why you don't want to do drugs and crime because they just lead to prison or you're going to end up dead. And like with these two examples right here, mother fluffers, you know, you do not want to mess with the Asians and this is an exact reason of why you do not want to go to prison because like you know and it's just getting worse and worse the ice just makes these people more crazy and crazy and believe me you do not want to go to prison and there's two examples of why you exactly do not want to go all right guys so if you have not subscribed i am the chaos chronicles jump up there and shoot me a subscribe i would really absolutely appreciate it we also have memberships available at the moment we have three different base levels um and yeah this just helps our page to grow and i really appreciate all right appreciate everyone who's contributing um also um we've got a lot of people that are watching my videos all the time but they haven't subscribed could you please jump up there and shoot me a subscribe and also if you hit that little bell you'll never miss any of my clips all right we've been the chaos chronicles we i am also the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not